Hello and welcome back to the channel. Today's film is a little eBay experiment. I've got approximately 211 listings live at the moment and uh, the numbers reduced quite dramatically because I am running down the stock. What I intend to do while staying on eBay and still selling antiques, vintage and collectibles is change the focus of the shop and possibly well, I'm investigating my options, but I'm possibly looking to sell higher value items. The reason for that is sales are way down at the moment and the margins I'm making on the lower value items for the amounts of work I'm having to put in just aren't cutting the, the mustard, to coin uh, an English phrase. In other words, it's just not really working out. So I've decided that I'm going to change the focus of my eBay shop to the more higher value items. Now, I, as I said, I've currently got 211 listings, of which about 50 of them are currently listed uh, for less than 10 pounds, which to be honest is, it's not really, it's not working for me. So what I've decided to do, and also, these 50 odd listings have been hanging around forever. They just sat there doing nothing, taking up storage space. So what I have decided to do is to change the format from buy it now to an auction listing. Start the auction at 99 pence and see if this has any effect whatsoever on the, you know, the success rate uh, of selling them. It's a total experiment and it, it could fail miserably or hopefully succeed. I don't know. Time will tell. Now, as I mentioned, I've got 50 of these low value items. I'm not going to do all 50 because what I don't want to do in seven days time is have to sit hypothetically packaging 50 items if they've all sold. So I'm just going to take the first 10. So what we'll do, we'll cut now to my eBay page and we'll go through the process of changing these 10 low value items from buy it now to auction. So let's take a look at my eBay active listings page. So here we are on my active listings page. So I'll put the old spectacles on. Now what we want to do is change the order we can view the listings at the moment it's in number order i.e my sku or stock control unit number order which if you look at this example here 221908 2219 is my stock number and 08 is the tub it's stored in so when when it does sell i can go straight to the tub and pull it out but we don't want that order. What we want to do is change the order to lowest price. So if I go to, there we go. That's now changed it, you'll see, from the SKU number order to current price. And you can see that the lowest priced item I currently have in my active listings is a set, a complete set of 50 cigarette collector cards and they're currently available for £5.53 or even best offer. So what I have decided to do and I haven't done this before so you'll be able to follow my head scratching and mistakes as I go through this process. What I'm going to do is I'm going to end 10 of these low value listings and I'm going to mix them up so it's a different selection. They're not all the same. So we're going to go for that set of 50 cigarette trading cards. We'll go for a Victorian print. That's two. We'll go for an antique. French glass bottle. So that's three. This hardwood, uh, well, this uh, driftwood corkscrew 
It's been sat in my eBay shop for about two years now. So for this children's comic annual five, we'll go for one of these enamel planters, six, the white metal candlestick, seven, Key blanks eight. Try and find some, get a little bit more. We'll go for a little bit more interesting, perhaps. We'll go for that glass pipette dropper and bottle. I think that's nine, I think. And we'll go for this John Lennon glossy vintage 1960s black and white promo trade photograph. So I think that's 10. So that's a variety of items, all currently listed. Buy it now for under £10. So we'll just check that's 10. So that's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now, what I'm going to do, because I want to change the format from buy it now to auction, is end these ten listings. Right, take a few seconds. Right, so I've now ended those 10 listings and you can see the number of active listings I have has now dropped from 211 to 201. So that is all correct. So if I now go to ended listings, there they are. You'll see there's a few other ended listings I've got down here. Now all these are going to an actual auction in Kidderminster on Thursday starting with the Art Deco Tilt Mirror. The reason these listings are going to an actual auction is every one of these items uh, I don't want to have to ship through because of risk of damage, glass, ceramic, too big. And there are the remnants of when I had my bricks and mortar shop so I've decided to risk an auction, an actual real life auction, where people are going to be there. <laughs> and there's always a risk involved with that because you just don't know what the bids are going to be. I never put a reserve. They're there to be sold, so there's no reserve on them. So a lot of these items you can see here could well go for two or three pounds. I just want them gone, to be honest. Anyway, back to the subject in hand or the matter in hand. Here's our 10 items. So what I want to do is select them. Now I can't just bulk select because it's got those other items that are going to the physical auction. So here's my 10. That's it. And what I want to do is sell, sell similar. So effectively, they'll be listed as new listings, which does help their visibility with the algorithm. So we're going to go to sell similar. And this should just pull out those 10. There we go. Now you can see that they're currently still at the buy it now price. So we need to change the buy it now price to and the format to an auction. So if I can now bulk edit these, I can select all, go to bulk edit, select format, 
choose auction it's already set at seven days by default and apply right now I've what's happened is even though I've selected the format and changed it from fixed price to buy it now it hasn't changed it on the edit page so I'm not going to waste time I'm just going to go through and physically because it only takes a few seconds physically change it to auction I don't know if behind the scenes it's actually already changed it to auction, but it's not showing up on the page. So they're all changed to auction. The duration is set at seven days. Now, it's saying price not valid, buy it now, and best offer can't be set at the same time on auction listings. So what I need to do is get rid of those, um, get rid of those offers. So again, if I go to bulk edit, go to offers, don't allow offers, apply. Right, that's correct. So what it's now saying is price is not valid. So what I'm going to do is go to bulk edit I'm going to change the buy it now price for all of them to £9.95. And that means that if anybody does want to circumvent the auction and buy it there and then, then they're going to have to pay £9.95. So what I need to do now is go back up to bulk edit. We've already changed the format to auction. Uh, it's just reinforcing that. Didn't need to do that to be quite honest, but there you go. And what I need to do is Go down on bulk edit to starting price. And this is for the auction. And I'm going to change that to, as I think I mentioned earlier, I'm going to literally start it way low at 99 pence. There we go. That's got rid of all the error messages. So to summarize we've changed all 10 to auction duration of seven days you saw me just change the starting price to 99 pence and if buyers want to jump straight in to shortcut the auction they can buy each of these items at £9.95 and I think that is everything done so We'll just double check the category they're in. And it all looks correct to me. Can't see any obvious errors there. It's really important you place your item in the correct eBay category so people can find it. Double check the postage policy, which tells me how I'm shipping it and the price. They're all correct. They're only small items, so generally it's a large letter or second class raw mail signed for with a little bit on top for consumables. So I think we're good to go there. And Now, am I promoting these? Du, 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 du. Let's go to bulk edit again. Promoted this. 
Here we go. So promoted listings. I'm not promoting anything at the moment, to be honest. So when I ended these 10 items, obviously that came across with it. I'm not promoting anything at the moment because I only sell antiques, vintage and collectibles. So if somebody is looking for a, for example, John Lennon Beatles photo postcard, there's not going to be that many of them there. So my listing should show up without being promoted. That's the theory anyway. And maybe that's another film to do a little experiment on whether promoting your listing in antiques, vintage and collectibles does have any effects on the sales. Right, so I think all of that is now correct. Let's go ahead and submit all 10. Right, 10 listings are now live. Let's go and have a look. So if we now go back to our active listings, we should be back up to 211. And there we are. So we've now relisted. I had to pay a fee to relist them, but it's all part of the experiment. Could well end up costing me money, this experiment, but it's such a small amount that I'm not really fussed about it to be quite honest with you so we're back on the active listings page there they are look all 10 sorry i'm scrolling up and down i'll stop doing that so there we go um just look at the first one as the example current price 99 pence postage cost oh you can buy it now for nine pound 95 and of course, there's a point. I don't think you can actually promote auction listings. So that wouldn't have had any impact at all on whether or not I was in the first place. So um, there's no promotion surcharge added to any of these auction listings. And there's the time left, six days, 23 hours. So we'll come back in seven days and see how i get how i have got on right now what i will do a bit of housekeeping though i'll go back to ended items and i will delete these 10 ended items just so i don't get confused in the future about whether they're actually listed or not so I'll tick those 10, go to actions and delete. And we want to delete them. There we go. So all I've got now on my ended items are the uh, listings that are now going to the physical auction in Kidderminster on Thursday this week. I may well do a film actually on um, how how I get on with these items. There's about 20 odd of them, 20. I don't know, roughly 25. So yeah, I probably will actually do a film on uh, how we get on at that auction. Right, back to active. Right, okay. Now, I think what we'll do now is go back full screen to my ugly mug. There we go. It's an absolute total experiment. If it fails miserably, it won't cost me very much money. If it succeeds even partially, then I've moved on stock that has been sitting around in my eBay shop for months, if not a couple of years. So someone will get a good deal and I'll clear some space out to fill with more antique, vintage and collectible treasures. So there we go. I hope you found this film interesting. If you haven't done it yourself before, maybe it's uh, walked you through the process. Please like, comment, share and subscribe to spread the word. The community is growing. We're up to about nearly 430 subscribers now. It's all about you, the viewer, antiques, vintage and collectibles. So uh, 
share this film to uh, let other people know about our channel and hopefully they'll come on board and join us for the journey. If you're a new subscriber and you enjoyed it, let me know in the comments below where you're from and I'll add you to the digital subscriber list which should be scrolling along the bottom of the screen as I speak. That's all for now. Take care. Stay safe and I'll see you next time.